Welcome back to Daytime, and Tim Hodges joining us. He is a marketing director with Forest City Surplus, and we want to get both of us, we want to get you outside, even when it's minus 15, minus 25 with the wind chill. Tim, thank you for being here. Thanks, Ken. Uh, we have a lot of options. Uh, we're going to talk surviving the cold in a little bit, but we want to talk about just having fun in the cold. Absolutely, yeah. It's a great time of year. There's some stuff you just can't do in the summer that you can do in winter. So A great example, um, the backyard rink. And Yes. I, I didn't realize, but Forest City Surplus actually has supplies to help us build the uh, the outdoor rink, the backyard rink. Yes, yeah, we've got uh, the tarps. Uh, basically, you use those as a liner, and uh, we've got a video set up in the store connected to a TV, or you can go to our website. It'll show you how to actually set up your, your own backyard yank rink uh, really? pretty easily. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, so this obviously is a, a pretty small version, but uh, yes, they how go many up different to, sizes do you have? Uh, 20 by 30 is the popular size, and then uh, they go up to 40 by 60. Trust me, you don't want it too big in your backyard either, because yes. then it's just uh, it's too much to yes. deal with. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we've got that. Uh, the other thing that we're also really thrilled about is the opening of Bowler Mountain. Uh, have you seen a lot of people coming in for uh, for ski supplies as well? Uh, yeah, we get some a lot of people in for the clothing there. Uh, this is uh, one of the neat things. If you don't uh, never been on the slopes before. Uh, this is a nice beginner uh, move. It's, uh, it's called snow skates, and uh, they're shorter than a regular ski, but uh, and it gives you a little more agi agile uh, agility on that slope. So, yep, it gives you the fun of skiing, but um, without having to worry about twisting your legs together yeah. and becoming a pretzel no on the slopes this looks like it would be challenging this would be this looks like once you got a hang of the the balance it would be a lot of fun yeah but you'd first you'd have to get get a hang of that balance because you you would but uh once you do there's a lot of people out there that have uh done uh you know like tricks out there you check out youtube for uh sled dogs there and there's tons of videos of people doing tricks out there with have, them have you tried these me? No, I'm not much for uh, skiing there. So <laughs> they don't either. go up to my shoe size either. So. Uh, my, I think this would be more my speed. A great selection of snowshoes at Four Seasons yes, Plus. Yeah. I know you're a big hiker, Ken. I so am. I had to make sure that this is what you need for hiking in the winter. Perfect. Except this isn't quite what I need because uh, the important. So the the deal is when you're buying snowshoes, you want to buy the shoe for your weight, correct? Yes. So this would be a this would obviously be a smaller what. How yeah. many pounds would this be? Um, I think that's 120 pounds, that one. So okay. Designed more for kids, but uh, right. we do have uh, ones up to 300 pounds. Perfect. So get the right shoe for you, and you guys are there to help us do that. But the other thing is, you could also go old school. I love these. What, yes. Tell me about this guy. So these are the snowshoes that the U.S. Army uh, built so that... Uh, uh, I guess in the Cold War there was a fear of the uh, Ruskies there going <laughs> over the pole and trying to sure. uh, walk over to Canada and the U.S. And uh, this is the snowshoe that they developed to make sure that that didn't happen. So the troops, uh, like this made with uh, it's aluminum frame, I believe, and uh, then there's magnesium in it as well. So very expensive materials, but uh, because it's Army surplus, it's uh, you know now at a reasonable price. And pretty rugged, um, but you know, based on the size, a lot lighter than you would expect. Oh, it's very light, just because magnesium's one of those things that you see on high-end truck tires and things like that to, to lighten the the weight of a vehicle. And uh, very high-tech material, like like I said, because it's the army, they they want the best, and um, they have access to those kind of resources, and that's what they've done with these. So you can reenact the Cold War in your own backyard <laughs> or uh, in, around London, but with the uh, with Forest City surplus. Do you have a lot of uh, a lot of military surplus winter specific stuff like uh, snowshoes and gear and things like that? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you later. We've got a face mask. We've got that uh, is designed just to protect your whole face area. Uh, today, you need that. Uh, yes. With the the bitter cold, I mean, we don't have a whole lot of snow for the snowshoeing yet, but with the uh, with the bitter cold, you got to protect your face, you got to protect your hands, and you brought actually uh, something really unique. Tell me what's unique about this glove. Mind if I put it on? No, go ahead. So this is a texting glove. A texting glove. Texting glove. So it's specifically designed so that you can operate your cell phone 
while wearing a glove. So there's something special about the fingertips yes. on the white ones that yes. make it so that I can actually scroll through and use my touch screen. Yes. Yeah. Very cool. Because if you don't report about what you're doing on Facebook, did it really ever happen? It never happened. No. I, I could have uh, I could have reenacted, you know, the crossing of the North Pole, and if I tell people, it never really happened, but as long as I've got pictures, there's mm -hmm. proof. Uh, let's talk Star Wars, too. What, yeah. How, how does R2-D2 here relate to the outdoors? Well, sometimes it does get too cold for ah, the outdoors. I see what you so did there. So <laughs> the thing is that you might want to, on the super cold, negative 20 and below day, so... Negative 10 is fine, but yeah, when it gets super cold, you want to get uh, things like this out. And this is an R2-D2 model, and then we have, uh, uh, it's basically a metal sheet, and you can piece together the model. Oh, sweet. So like build, uh, like build, build your, your own, own. Very cool. 3D model. All right, the last thing, we saved this till the end, just because, are you going to let me fly this? Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. You have no idea what you've just done. <laughs> Uh, you have a lot of remote control uh, things, don't you? Yes. Yep. Uh, you're, you're an excellent aren't pilot. You? Yeah. Whoa, 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 you spoke too soon. There she goes. Landed <laughs> on the shelf. How wow. awesome am I? Awesome. Uh, great lineup of uh, remote control uh, helicopters, cars, you name it. Yes. Yep. Yeah, lots of, lots of fun. You know, if you're trapped indoors, these are... Uh, Good things to keep you occupied and prevent cabin yeah, fever. Yeah, I, I would keep that one indoors. I don't, I don't think I'd want to lose the drone in the snow. It would be a bad <laughs> one. Uh, but we've got to keep you warm. We've got to keep you safe when you're outdoors. Tim's going to stick around. We're going to talk more about the things you can buy and find at Forest City Surplus to keep you warm and safe throughout those cold winter months. More when daytime returns. Stick around. Welcome back to Daytime. It is honestly one of my favorite stores to just wander around and see what trouble you can get into. Trouble meaning fun, Tim. Right? Absolutely. Yes. Tim Hodges joining us, a marketing director with Forest City Surplus. Want to keep people both safe and warm at this time of year. So yes. let's talk about warm, specifically the face. Uh, as a, a guy, I'm actually planning on going for a run today. So thinking something like this would be perfect for uh, yes. heading out today. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, I personally own that uh, it's so it's a balaclava but it's extra long to help uh, protect the neck area um, that's one of the big things we sell at Forest City surpluses uh, just we have a Dickies as well that protect the neck area because when you get out there and it's cold you know you you got to protect that top part so you don't get the cold yeah, going down. And there's nothing worse than, you know, you have one and then, you know, all you do is you move a couple of times and now it's pulled out and you've got that yes. open spot in your neck. That's killer. Yes. Uh, and, of course, a great selection of uh, toques as well. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Fleece, that's one of my favorite materials. It's, I find, very lightweight, compact, and uh, very, very warm. Uh, the one thing that when uh, when you came in, the, f the first thing that I saw and I absolutely fell in love with was uh, this jacket because this looks like, I think, the warmest jacket I have probably ever seen. Yes, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it's up there. I mean, it's it's pretty warm. We had we had to put fans on the guy when he was modeling it <laughs> because and, and we he quit after about 10 minutes of just trying to get the right photos. It's that warm. It's got... Uh, uh, coyote fur on the on the trim. Um, there's special things around the waist to to help uh, protect uh, the heat that's in your torso. Even on the cuffs, they're specially designed to uh, with a couple of different ways to actually trap the heat, your body heat in there. Uh, also comes with big pockets, so if you need to work outside, you need to be out there for hours on end. This is kind of can be a good working jacket. Well, especially if you've got, for example, these big gloves on. Uh, there's nothing worse than having the. You don't want to take them off when it's that cold out, but mm -hmm. you still need to get the stuff. You know, whatever a wrench or even your, your your phone, whatever it is, out of your pocket. You can still do it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Those are some special gloves we have there. They're battery powered. Uh, we also have socks that do the same thing. There's yep. a little heater in there. That would be. Uh, down in here. Oh, and it's even yeah. turned on too. You've got the heater inside. Yeah, I want to make sure it's nice and toasty and warm for you. <laughs> well, then I, should, I should be putting these on yeah. then, shouldn't I? So, uh, how long would a uh, would a charge of this battery last? And and does it depend on you know how? Oh, they are warm. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I might I might get a larger size, but yes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, how long would a would a charge last for that? 
Um, it lasts you most of the day. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That is, that just feels amazing. All right, let's move on to the feet because yes. uh, there's a couple of aspects of, uh, of this that I, I want you to show me. Yeah, I'm bad myself for falling down and, you know, you fall down this time of year, you're out for a few days, it hurts, it's painful. And if you've got a family, no one likes to be out for that long. So we've got these uh, ice cleats there metal teeth they grip into the actual snow and ice so that uh, you can walk safely uh, on that rough terrain uh, or run too i actually wear these yeah. when i run uh today i'll definitely be needing those just to keep the uh, the traction on the uh, on the ice and snow so those are fantastic okay yeah. let's talk about being safe when you're uh, out and about and uh, if you're putting together kind of an emergency kit for your car you could probably do the whole thing at forest city surplus yes yes you brought a few things. That, what would you include in that kit? Um, yeah, for me, I guess uh, the biggest thing is, uh, well, w one of the big things is warmth. So you want to stay warm. If you're in a situation like we had with the uh, blizzard of 78, you was trapped in your car, and or we had a few years ago where people got trapped in your car, something like this, you can. it's small enough you can throw it in your glove box, but uh, it's, it's basically based... Uh, good enough it keeps you warm reflects all that heat in uh, if you do get stuck as well there's other devices we have uh, like the booster cables obviously yep yep uh, tow rope attach one end to uh, your car one end to uh, some guy with a nice big pickup or SUV and tow you out you and even brought this the, the gigantic winch there too we could you could just winch yourself out of the ditch yes yes sometimes uh, I've been out there up uh, Owen Sound area, and uh, there might be only another car come by every 15 minutes, so sometimes you have to do it yourself. So, uh, yeah, big That's strong pretty, that winch. That's pretty heavy duty. That looks yeah, like this it would is do it. 8,000 pounds it's rated to, uh, to move, so. Very nice. Well, like I mentioned, uh, just a great time of year to get outside and uh, enjoy it, but be prepared for it. So uh, get into Forest City Surplus, get the gear to stay warm, and then get some of those toys and actually get out and enjoy the weather. You can also find all of this stuff at fcsurplus.com or drop by at 1712 Dundas Street and check out Forest City Surplus. When we come back, we'll talk more hockey, but specifically sledge hockey. It is a 12...